Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more Path of Exile. This is going to be the 24 hour update. Basically, if I do my plate time, you can see that I've been playing for one day, zero hours and zero minutes. Uh, so I am level 82 and uh, well, we're in the early maps, of course. Uh, that's what I'm grinding down, trying to get as many of them uh, found and done as possible so that I can increase my map pool and that hopefully we can easily sustain them. So I just have a shocking strand map of miring. Let's see if we can handle it. I've also been having fun trying out different specters. Here I found these um, these guys that actually throw like fireballs at the enemy. Uh, piercing fireballs, pretty damn cool. Let's get to this strand map and let's see if we can do it. And then of course I also have some of my farming at the ready. Uh, I should have some more of those tier 2 seeds. This time not the purple ones but the yellow and the blue ones. That should be ready. Let's use bone armor here. And then I guess that will uh, will follow the outside. Over here. And what the hell was that? Was that one of my fireballs or not? I don't even know. Uh, with minions, they do the work of course. I have to mostly just stay out of their way. And there you can see those fireballs going through the enemies. I like it. Uh, if something is a little bit tougher, they'll help quite a bit. With clearing that out. So very cool. I really do like these casting specs. Oh this could be an interesting test here. Get. Um, what is it? Uh, I'm not even sure what this one is called. But it can be very rewarding. Uh, Abyssal Trove I think. Is what we get at the end. And so let's let's basically try to stay behind these fireballs. Oh that. Yeah that's not that bad. Uh, and it then does a 180. Gets over here. I'm going to drop all of my extra minions back here let's see if we can clear this out a little bit let's use bone armor and it's still going all right um none of these are that interesting i will take this chest though and this one okay we're still all right although this one was uh, tanking us for quite a little bit and then here I'm gonna guess that this is the final bit with even more stuff coming. Alright, well... Man, I didn't even need to reuse the Val Summon Skeleton. There it is, the Abyssal Trove. That always also has at least one uh, jewel in it that can be rather interesting. So let's take a quick look at what we got here. For my minions, perhaps I could try to build on that. And yeah, physical damage... Nothing too good just yet. Okay, next next uh, up we have Cassia coming in. Let's uh, do that and see if we can handle this without too much trouble. We're in a decently good spot, so I, do I don't think we'll have too much trouble with this. And Ooh, is that thunder outside? Okay, interesting. <laughs> they were not predicting uh, a thunderstorm at this point, but uh, let's hope that it doesn't come through too much. And then we are going to see where the blight spreads to. Yeah, this is all right, I think. We can cover this part right here. Let's do that here, do that here. A little bit of bone armor. And then hope for some upgrades. Skeletons here, skeletons there. I feel like we are doing quite okay. Still hunting for that uh, final lap that'll give all of my... Uh, minions like plus two on the gym level. That ought to be pretty interesting. Let's just get the army up here as we try to upgrade this stuff. And ooh, there's a boss up here. Interesting. Go for him, go for him. He does have a lot of HP. Keep going, guys. He's halfway down. Another bone armor so you guys can keep up. Ooh, and then are they attacking the purification pump? That was not the plan. Boss is down. And there we go. That one is done. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here. Rings and amulets. I actually do need some amulets because I don't have life on my amulet at this point. Some oil. And over here, superior plus 7%. I don't think that it is that great. And unfortunately, no uniques or anything like that. But all of this pretty easily done. All my minions are still alive. Um, so they're doing quite well. I like it. Those big murder cages over there don't last for too long either. So this is looking okay. 
And we can just keep going along the beach. These guys are a bit dangerous. Bombing us with that... Uh, when that corpse floats up. And here we get some more poison stuff. It, it does like to throw a lot at us. Um, which is why I'm mostly actually working on getting more HP. So let's do that. And we're already at too much clutter. That's not good. Um, I'll quickly clear this out. There we go. Ooh, superior, superior. A gem cutter. I'll take all of that. Well, uh, so that's just too large. Okay, I'll quickly get rid of some of this stuff that we definitely don't need. Um, so this, 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 this. I'll keep them. Then we'll go back. I'll pick this up because at some point I may need to do something with colors. And then I'll discover these guys. Anyone that has energy shield. Nope, that's not good. So I would need to put life and stuff on this one. 25 to all attributes. I would have loved to see some um, some uh, resistance as well. It's not happening. Let's take this and let's go take a look at my garden. These are purples. That is fine. We can go over here. You can see that we are replanting everything as we get the seeds. Always try to use all of them. And this seems to be fully ready. Another tier one. Let's do it. One, two, three, E and my war cry. They spawn in. I get out. And there we go. That is done. And so, but I am now uh, doing that's like a little bit different. I'm at least going to take a look through uh, all of these receipts because another one that I had uh, was um, sacrifice a unique item, but get a different unique, uh, a piece of armor, for instance. And it's worth it to try it at least once. Who knows what you get? Uh, it could be the right unique. I'm still waiting for the right uh, scepter that gives my uh, skeletons like that ashy thing so that they. Um, do more uh, AOE damage and then explode more quickly. Reforge, that's not too interesting. Magic modifier, physical modifier, physical modifiers. Honestly, it's really life or something like that. So here, nothing of interest. We are going to condense all of that. And that, of course, goes into my stocks. Let's see if anything on the yellow front is ready. We have a nice patch completely ready as well and for now i can usually just keep all the tier ones on two of these patches uh, without any problem so we're going to also run this one do that do that get out a little bit of extra mana so that we can survive and we are fine moonstone ring couple of flasks and let's take a quick look again at the receipts here uh, set an item to three sockets to four sockets honestly that's not too interesting uh, attack 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 modifiers including a life modifier now that starts to be a bit more interesting because this is really bad um, and which one would be an agate Amulet, I'm not sure what that exactly does, and this one, so I would gamble on this one, doing mostly life. Oh, god damn it, and I just lost almost my entire army. I hope I didn't lose my specters, that's the most important. No, so because of the stats loss, interesting. Um, that's actually kind of bad. So I lose my boots because I don't have enough dexterity if I do that. Ouch. Okay, interesting. Um, dex, dex, strength and intelligence. Let's see what we can create here. First of all, so if I take this one, for instance, and then try including one life modifier, requires level 28, requires level 48, only plus 9, strength, intellect, 14 to all resistances. That is not that bad. Um, and 13 fire resistance. I'm gonna keep it. It may be useful for like another character. Let's try the same over here. Reforge a rare item with a new, including life or common. Let's maybe try this one then. Craft that. We get 18 dexterity, 41 max life, some region, evasion rating, uh, plus 5% increased fire damage. That could actually be good for my skeletons as well. And do I have enough... Um, 
enough uh, decks on that to keep everything up and running 53 i think we should so i think it's worth it to, to give it a try 41 life ought to give me at least somewhat of a boost let's see nope not for my gloves god damn it all right well i'm gonna keep this one as well though ah man Path of Exile, definitely a pretty complex game. Um, and so this crafting system, it, it has potential, especially now here, these life modifiers. You can definitely create some pretty awesome uh, things here. Oof, that's really good in resistances as well. This is not too interesting, so we're going to try that here as well. Craft, there we go. That The one that we definitely want is gone. Yeah, we just don't have that much uh, life or anything like that granted to this one let's condense the rest of this um not needed let's get our army back so we need you we need you oh and we don't have our zombies so we will definitely do uh, a tier one and why is it oh there's a tier two seed in the wrong place let's see if we can handle this one like that just to be safe i'm gonna just add the rest of my guys and then can I resummon zombies? Woo! Taking lots of damage <laughs> as my <laughs> minions keep exploding. And I don't have enough corpses to get the rest of my zombies going. So I really made a big mistake basically uh, by sacrificing them. But that should be fixable. Let's see what we got here. Reforge links, reforge defense modifiers, lightning modifiers. A chaos modifier. God, that could be interesting as well. Let's see. This one was kind of interesting. And a chaos modifier. Could I get like chaos resistance on this? 28 chaos resistance. 4 to all. 61. And 40 decks. Jesus Christ. This is actually kind of what I want. Let's see if I can, if I can do this. 4,650. And my chaos res um, goes up to 6% positive. That's a big, big difference. I'm not Captain Lightning, so I will perhaps have to try and um, fix that at some point. But that's pretty big, and I think this does show you uh, the potential here. So I'm, this is definitely quite nice in, in the Chaos Resistance front, and perhaps I could get uh, even better stuff out of all of this as well. Uh, so those Chaos modifiers are actually potentially very damn nice. Uh, although I do think you want basically a second set of gear uh, to, to always have something with like enough life or ev everything that you actually want right there. Um, maybe I'll try Reforge. Uh, I'll try another one. So this for instance. What would happen if we do this on this one? Yeah. Chaos modifier will mostly be chaos resistance. So you get a pretty nice way to try and create items that have that. Let's condense the rest of the life force. And then I'm a little bit worried uh, without my zombies because we don't, uh, because we definitely need them. So we're gonna try to pick them up here and hope that we can still keep going in on our farm after I summon them over here oh and this is off as well that's going to help with my capping my res that's what was happening and anything left here so that i can get my full zombies yes full so we get all of my minions and then my skeletons are at the ready okay we should be ready for our tier 2 seed so this is the farming in the harvest league uh, i kind of enjoy it you have to take your time a little bit more but look at this here we should have like six tier 2 seeds ready um on this one the rest is tier 1 but hopefully we get some tier 3s out of it so let's activate this one two three use that lap out there's at least one seed that has dropped and that's actually a yellow that uh, survived quite a little bit longer and then everything goes down so that's definitely good in my book maybe that could have a lot of life I'll, I'll grab it and let's see what kind of um, stuff we get from these yellows so in total 1000 life force we still can't do the um the horticrafting station will basically need uh 
almost a full set of tier 2s or something like that. I'll be working on that. Sacrifice a corrupted gem to gain 40% of that gem quality as a gem cutter's prism. I, I should be able to do that. I have plenty of corrupted gems. Uh, let's do something that's pretty common. And I'm not very likely... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Sacrifice a corrupted gem to gain four of the gem's quality. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of quality. None of them do, I don't think. Because it's still a little bit early. That's an interesting one. As gem scudders prisms. Okay, set a new implicit modifier on a cobalt, crimson, viridium or prismatic jewel. I have been keeping some... Um, some of these as well. And do I have Viridian? Let's give that a try. New Implicit. If I press Craft, this becomes Regenerate, Chaos Damage over time. Okay, nothing really good, but it works. Sacrifice Corrupted Gem to gain 4%. We have that twice, unfortunate. Corrupted Gem of the Gem's Total Experience stores as Facetor's Lenses. I have no idea what that is. I'm not going to... And there's only one that I've been leveling up, but this does show that I should have uh, like more uh, extra gems that I'd be leveling up. Cobalt Crimson, and so we can keep going with this as well. 9% um, increased damage, attack speed while dual wielding, I'll keep that. Crimson, is that one? Yeah, Crimson. And this is actually trap damage, let's see if we can really change this one. No, can't use the yellow one. Um, can I use this one? Can't do that either. Set a new implicit modifier on a cobalt crimson. That, sh that should work, right? On, let's say, this one, this one, any of my gems. Oh, it works on this one. Okay, let's give it a try. Damage with maces and scepters. 10% increased frenzy charge duration. Okay. More corrupted gem sacrifices. Enchant a flask with a muff that reduces its charge use. The magnitude of this effect decreases with each use. Okay, gonna give that a try. I'm sure that I have something here. Removes curse, for instance. And I can't do that either. So now into four sockets, change a gem. Again, we could get a lot of... Um, into another gem carrying over experience and quality if possible. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Let's let's give that a try. So I could take for instance uh, a quality 6 I don't know something I'll never use. And then I just press craft and we get an iron grip support at plus nine quality. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Man, this is so complex. Uh, we'll, we'll have to study this uh, in depth. I think I'll, I'll want a list on a second screen as well of everything that's possible and what I should be hunting for. There is definitely a lot to do and I have not set up my storage tank. So that's actually what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use this to just build up. A big stockpile of storage tanks also create some extra pylons and we're just gonna dump that um, in a moment but anything else of use here no we have yet another one to go uh, another one with uh, quite a few tier twos normally as well uh, where are they back here in the middle maybe tier one tier one here is a tier two here's a tier two here as well so let's see what we can get from this skeletons on the field. Well, we get at least quite a few of these grains. So, including a tier 3, I guess. Those probably tier 2s. Some more currency. Not a lot of XP. I must say that uh, this is not going to help you to really level up more quickly or anything like that. Let's take a look at these receipts again. Total life force 860. So, this was definitely not high. Very valuable. Normal to imagine uh, two random high tier modifiers. What the hell is high tier modifiers? A normal item. Do I have that? I think I could have that in. Um, 
this tab. Yeah, you do want to keep some stuff around. Uh, let's try maybe a Lunari circlet. Let's try this. Craft. Max mana and fire resistance. Oh, it makes it a, a basically like a blue base. Interesting. Let's do the same thing here. What do we get? 28 intellect. Okay. Change a divination card into an another random change you know, another random divination card. Can do that a couple times. That could be interesting potentially. Reforce stuff, critical modifiers, sockets, lightning modifiers. The rest of it is not really that interesting. So I'm gonna actually um, try it with the cards. Show everything that's owned. I'm sure that there is some stuff that's not too interesting. Like the ones for ah, two stone ring, who knows. I did get one that uh, works on towards an exalted orb, which I have one of as well. What would I use? 40 scrolls of wisdom. That doesn't seem like that's going to be too interesting. And now I can't do it again. What? What? Change it into another random divination card. So I can only, like, maybe... I'm not going to drop five fossils. Let's see if I can do... Nope. Six linked short bow. Uh, not gonna drop that. Alpha, I don't know what this does. Sire, Sire of shards. Shards. Mm, okay, I'm willing to... Actually, those 17 chromatics, I don't need that. And then I can use it. Man, that's, that's kind of bad. Why doesn't it just take one of them? Weird. Okay, that was crafted and it has been dropped. And here, <laughs> the hoarder. Exalted orb. I do want that. This, I'm not sure. Gem cutters, prisms. I don't think that that's too interesting. Potentially, we could get better stuff. Axe and sulfide scarab. Okay, I think maybe that was a little bit of an upgrade. Um, and then everything is done. What I do have to do, of course, is replant these seeds. But I need to take a look at the plants for that to make sure that I put the right seeds in the right spot. Here, for instance, we have some tier trees that have grown. And if I have more of them, then I'll be able to grow, uh, hopefully, towards that like 1800 life force so that I can make the horticrafting station. And then hopefully we can like store some of these good... Um, crafts and things like that it's a very interesting system um i'd never really taken the time to look through the complexity of um of uh, uh crafting and things like that in um uh, in path of exile and this league is basically perfect uh, as an introduction for that for me personally i'm enjoying it enough um that's tier two so you need to go well we can actually do that that's tier three vivid as well yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep upgrading this. I'll keep you guys up to date how it goes in the Harvest League. So far, I'm actually uh, really enjoying that. Let's finish this strand and then we will be ready to go. All aboard. Oh, don't, don't dive into all of those, all of those uh, corpses. That's really not a smart plan. Some more poison stuff. Where are the balls of fire? There they are. <laughs> that that's actually pretty cool and potentially pretty handy and here is actually the arena let's see if we can handle this and if we've done it before first we'll take these blue guys down and then we have our bosses which i can always get extra reinforcements if we want to and we get an atlas mission from nico for this but uh yeah, pretty, pretty damn smooth experience. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.